Hey there, internets. I'm Michael, and this is Two Can Play That Game, bringing you our next video in our Game Night in Review series. And this time we'll be talking about Quadropolis and Above and Below. So if you're interested in those, please stay tuned. So before I get into that, just a bit of a caveat about what Game Night in Review is. It's a series of videos where I talk about what me and others have been playing in Games Night. Now, it's not full-fledged reviews where I've done lots of playtesting. This is just quick thoughts. I might not have even actually played this game yet. Now, also, this time around, it wasn't actually a game night. Um, me and my wife went down to our local games cafe this weekend, which was a real treat. I've not been able to go since the channel started because it's justifying that expense. So I was really pleased to get to do that, and I was really pleased to get to try some of the new hot games that are coming out. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the games. So the first game we have is Quadropolis. And obviously, a bit of a spoiler alert because I've got the game here, which means we bought it. Um, now, I, I say we, I didn't actually buy this. My wife bought this for me, for the channel, to show support for the channel and to enable me to be able to do a review of one of the hottest games out there right now. And so I'm really excited to get this videos done on this. I need to get it open, get a lot more play testing done, etc. But you can expect videos on this soon. So let's talk a bit about what exactly Quadropolis is. So it is a city building game whereby you'll have construction workers that you're using to buy buildings from a central reserve that's a five by five grid. And you'll be taking those and as you take them, you block off different areas for other people to get to. And you'll then place those into your city and you each have your own individual city. The different types of buildings score in different ways and you win the game by having the most score. So hopefully that gives you just a quick idea. Now obviously, as I say, it was just me and my wife in the games cafe, so we did try this two player. And this game does have uh, two different play modes. It has a classic mode which is kind of the more family friendly starter version and it has an expert mode now i haven't had a chance to try the expert mode yet but i'll be sure to do that before i do my review definitely um, so what we were playing yesterday is we played the classic mode two player we did enjoy it my wife actually enjoyed this more than me um, despite the fact that i beat her so that was good yay i won um, and i being in a games cafe you've got several sheets of other people's scores there and I did make a point of kind of going look back have I beaten other people's <laughs> so it was quite nice to see that I had beaten other people's scores however all the other games ha that were in this pad were four player games and ours obviously was a two player game so I don't know if that makes a big difference to the scoring obviously I need to do much more play testing before I have an idea of that um, as I say, we both enjoyed this game. We found the choices it presented you were good choices, but it wasn't too in-depth. There wasn't so much going on that you just sat there, not sure what to do, paralysed. And uh, yeah, so it was quite a good little game. Um, good enough that we were both like, yeah, I'd happily play that more. Um, it'd be good for the channel. And that's why we've ended up picking it up. Now, I'm not too sure how this is going to scale, um, whether it will be better or worse number of people. Again, that's something I'll find out as I play it more. So, yeah, uh, that's Quadropolis. Um, I enjoyed the first play and looking forward to getting some more plays in and doing some videos for you. The next game we played at the Games Cafe was Above and Below. So, this, again... We ended up buying a copy and bringing it home with us. So, again, a bit of a spoiler, we did enjoy it. Now, this is a very interesting game because we found it very different to anything we've played before. Now, if you don't know what Above and Below is, it is, again, it's kind of a city building game where you have your workers that you'll send out on tasks. But it's not a worker placement. You're not blocking off locations by doing those tasks. And those tasks will involve building up goods and buying new buildings or going adventuring, etc. 
And at the end of the game, you win by having the most points. Your buildings will give you points. Some buildings give you bonus points or buildings are just worth points. And also you'll get points for the various items that you've managed to gather through the course of the game. So it was very interesting. I found the mechanic for the item gathering and how that scored, whereby you've got this track that you are filling up and you want to have more at the end of that track, but that means you have to have not put them in till the very end. That was really interesting and really intriguing. I think this will be a really nice game um, to build strategy as you ha have more plays of it. Now, another element of this is that adventuring. So it's very much, I don't know if any of you ever did the whole um, kind of build your own adventure storybooks where you read a paragraph and it says you have two choices, choose A or B, and then you go to the page that that says. The, the adventures feel very much like that. Now, some people might not like this. I've not been very keen on storytelling games where you have to make up the story. But this I found really engaging for those little snippets when you do an adventure. You're like, oh, what's the little story we're going to get? And it is just a little part of the game that just adds nicely to that theme. And it's interesting. So, yeah, that was very good. Very interesting. Um, I actually preferred this to Quadropolis. Uh, this was my favourite game that we played. But my wife preferred Quadropolis. Um... Again, I'm not sure how this will kind of scale. That'll all have to wait till I do further review, really, further playtesting. But luckily, my wife, again, is supporting the channel, has bought this great game to give me more new games to do content on. Because a lot of my games are older and they're just not getting the hits. So hopefully these will help draw in some more people. Um, as I say, I've enjoyed both these games. Um, I'm not going to give any recommendations on them yet because I feel I need to do more playing. But yeah, so that's what I played at my games cafe this weekend. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel and share the channel with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to check us out on social media. We are on Facebook and also on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and... Bye for now.